So, Agent Alpha here, continuing my series on crafting. This is video three of three. So we're about to wrap up. We've gone into some details about what crafting is. If you haven't checked out the other two videos in the series, please go back, check those out. They'll explain a lot, all the basics, the resource gathering. And now we're gonna talk about um, master writs and how that process plays a part in the crafting experience. Um, here I'm just showing off a few items that I can actually make, but this video will pick up right where the other one left off and we'll get it started. Let's go. I usually keep a bunch of master writs in my bank. So when I'm ready to go do them, so you can scroll through okay. here, you pick one that you want to do. Um, they come in different degrees of difficulty, blue, uh, purple, gold so you pick one go and just basically satisfy the job itself so once you satisfy the job itself then you can look and say all right in this particular case I'm making a ring uh, so I go basically pull the job up read the description it's listed there exactly what you have to make uh, then it tells you the reward in this particular case this one is 28 writ vouchers um, what that means is basically it's a type of currency. Writ vouchers are a type of currency where you can buy things that most players can't buy um, unless they're doing master writs. If you don't, if you're not doing master writs and you want to buy the components that are sold through writ vouchers, you can easily pay about fifty thousand gold for some of the things that um, are created by writ vouchers. So, is it worth it? Uh, it depends on your play style and how often you plan on playing. But in this particular case, I always find it worth it because all the supplies that I use for the guild come from um, the master writ vouchers side of the game. So you improve. Improving is another part of crafting. It's not enough to just to make some items. Some items have to come out at a certain level of quality. And as you can see, um, I don't have enough material to actually uh, do this ring. So I have to go back, as I mentioned, go in and start refining the grains to actually get the quality of uh, material that I need to complete this job. All master writs are higher quality jobs, so you're always going to do those. You're going to have to refine a lot of material. So it's a huge circle, supply and demand. You need something, other players have it. You have something, other players need it, and you just go from there. So complete this job. As you can see, uh, you have the refine the material, improve the quality of the job. Once the material has been spent, uh, you have a percent chance of actually succeeding. If you use less than the material that's required, the percent of success diminishes. So you want to make sure you have 100% on any job, otherwise it's a gamble that you'll lose the whole thing. Once the job is complete, you then go ahead and travel to where you turn in the job at. Much like uh, most major cities have a place you can turn it in. The capital city is where you turn in the master writs. So you have to make sure you travel to the capital. So that being said, go ahead and travel to the capital. Click on the actual writ itself. Select the job. Once you have selected the job and you have the material to turn it in, you get a quest mark above the delivery person's head. You simply walk over. And I, what I do, like I said, I double check to make sure I have an experience scroll running and then I just turn in the job. Something that you don't want to forget. If you have experience scrolls, use them when you're turning in the job. That way you can maximize the amount of experience you get from each one of those things. And the reward is the master writs. You now have, in this particular case, I have 28 writ vouchers to purchase whatever I want. I look through the list of materials that they have available, the list of items that you could purchase and you uh, pick what you want. I was trying to decide whether I didn't, want, I didn't want something from his list, so there was another vendor here. Yeah. Click on this vendor, go to the store, and you can sort through the items that you want here. Now, the downside of making these purchases is the reward that you get is random. So there's a chance you'll get something you already have, in which case you can give it away or sell it to another player. If you get a recipe or a component or a blueprint that you already have, you can always sell the stuff. 
So I'll select something from elsewhere, I believe. Yeah, I'll select something from elsewhere. I happen to be Kaji, I like elsewhere stuff. So um, once I have that, see the experience I got out of that. So I got the experience from turning in the job, not from buying the, uh, the actual ingredient. Find the new blueprint in my inventory. Open the letter, get the actual blueprint out of there, out of the reward. And there you have it, used to learn this item. There you go. That's pretty much crafting to the master writ side of the game. So from there, you basically get back to your regular play. Uh, there are people who have characters completely dedicated to crafting, which is totally fine. Uh, I just craft whenever I feel like it. It's one of those things that I do on the side for a little extra cash or writ vouchers. I get extra, anything I have left over from each of those jobs I put into the bank. Um, as you can see, um, I could put, you know, my extra writ vouchers in the bank. And let me just click that and put that in there. And I have over 600, uh, 610 as of this video, 610 writ vouchers in the bank. So whenever I feel like spending them, I save them up just in case someone in the guild needs something in the guild hall, then I go ahead and add it to the guild hall which is one of the benefits of being in a guild is that you don't have to do all this stuff by yourself if you don't want to. You can rely on your guild members to help you out getting things and you know, they turn things into me all the time. So it's a good symbiotic relationship being in the guild. So at any rate, um, that's pretty much the gist of the master writ side of the crafting. Uh, so I covered refining, I've covered the writ board itself, the different jobs, crafting, gathering resources, using your champion points to actually figure out which um, resources you can usually spot from a distance or how well you can pick them up. Or, I'm sorry, the skills identify how well you can spot them in the distance. Your champion points, how fast you can pick them up. Um, and that is the only thing I can think of. So it's a rather long video. I apologize. Um, I hope I didn't drag it on too long. Follow us, check us out later. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.